So this video is going to be kind of an image eval. And just so you know, I got these images off of uh, wikiradiography.net. So hopefully they are okay with me using it as a teaching tool. When you do a hand x-ray, the normal views that you do are a PA, an oblique, and a lateral. So I already did a video about the anatomy of the hand, so you can watch that. But this video is going to be talking about what the x-ray techs are always looking for. So everything needs to be positioned correctly and nothing should be clipped. For all of these, you want it to be centered correctly so that the hand is in the center. And you do want like around an inch from the edges of everything. You kind of want an inch of your radius and ulna just um, so that you can see the joint space. This first picture is called a PA hand. So it is basically just the hand flat on the board and you just take a picture. Technically you're supposed to center right here, right here at the MCP, the third MCP. Um, that'll get the entire hand perfectly centered. You want to also make sure that the joint spaces of everything, so like the joint spaces and the fingers are open, the joint spaces right here are open. All these little joint spaces need to be open. And when we when I say open, I mean it looks really dark uh, because you can see right through the joint. For a PA hand, you want it to be non-rotated. Everything to be totally flat on the board. So the way that you know, the technical term is equal concavity on both sides. The curve of this is almost basically the same as the curve of this. The curve of this is almost the same as the curve of this. The curve of this is almost the same. They're kind of equal. You want to make sure that there's no soft tissue overlap. If the fingers were too close together, the soft tissue and here and like the soft tissue here would be overlapped and you don't want that. So you want all the fingers to be totally separated. Anything with any kind of extremities, you want to be able to see the soft tissue shadow, which you can obviously see. You can see the hand, the skin and everything um, in this image. And then you also need to be able to see the bony trabecular patterns. Um, and that's just basically the little stripey, you can see that the um, bones aren't exactly smooth. So that's the bony trabecular patterns. So you want to make sure you have that. On to the oblique hand. When you do an oblique, it's a 45 degree angle. And the way that you can tell it's a 45 degree angle and you you didn't over rotate or under rotate is that the concavity is going to be slightly different obviously it's not totally the same you want to make sure that the fingers are separated so right here you can kind of see that the soft tissue shadow is a little bit um it would have been better if the these two fingers were separated just a little bit more. The thing that I've always remembered is the way that you make sure that the hand is rotated perfectly the right angle is that the, the fifth, the fourth, and the third metacarpal are gonna be kind of, their heads are gonna be kind of over each other, but there is still a little bit of space in between them. That shows that you did the perfect angle. And also the second metacarpal is going to be kind of separated from the third metacarpal. So that's how to show that you've got the perfect angle. And then now finally for the lateral. Some people do a regular straight lateral where you don't separate the fingers. But when I learned in school, I learned that you're supposed to do a fan lateral. So where the hand is totally on its side and you separate all the fingers so you can see a good view of each finger. The reason why lateral hand x-rays are taken is to be able to see if there's any foreign bodies. The other reason is to see how displaced a metacarpal fracture is. So basically what you're looking for in a lateral, you really want all of the metacarpals to be as on top of each other as possible. You want the ulna, and the radius to be as on top of each other as possible. And then you also want all the fingers to be separated. And you really don't want the fingers to be over each other. Another thing that you really, really want for your laterals is you want the joint spaces to be nice and open in the fingers. Thank you for watching this video.